Thanks for listening to the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast, where each week we talk about a free piece or two of technology that you can use in your classroom. I'm your host, Shanna Martin. I'm a middle school teacher, technology coach, and personalized learning coordinator for my district. And I'm her producer and husband, Fuzz. Hello. Hello. We are two-thirds of the way to 100 episodes. Wow. Actually, we were when we were two-thirds of the way through the last episode. We were technically <laughs> two-thirds of the way, but rounding. Now yeah, we're here. numbers. Yes. We're on episode 67. Mm-hmm kind of crazy um yeah and rooster is here with us yes yeah, so i have a puppy on my lap right now because <laughs> she is uh, having fear of missing out and if <laughs> i put her in the crate or leave her upstairs she will either bark or go potty everywhere <laughs> so she's hanging out with us tonight so who so knows she's on maybe, my lap. maybe she'll join the podcast yeah alina snored maybe rue will yeah say your name we'll see <laughs> we'll see hopefully she'll sleep hopefully. so uh, yeah we're doing this whole online learning thing well i'm still in hybrid mode where i have kids online mm-hmm. and kids in the classroom um we've in our house is hybrid because we have one kid online and <laughs> one, one kid, kid in the kid classroom, in the classroom. <laughs> and we've made it a month so we're four weeks in mm-hmm. and so far, we just keep plugging along, yeah. and everyone's kind of doing their part, and the kids, they have such good attitudes. I, I had said this to you and I think my colleagues this week, that despite everything going on, like, my kids have be a good human day, mm-hmm. and they're all, like, coming up with positive messages and positive quotes, and it was just really kind of cool to see that, like, they're just happy to be with each other and learning, so um, I appreciate that from them, which was kind of cool. So, anywho... Today, we are focusing on online learning Chrome extensions. So I've done an episode of Chrome extensions before, um, but just looking at some new ones, especially because we have some kiddos working at home and some teachers that are still like full online at home and we have this hybrid stuff going on. So I was trying to find tools that kind of make everyone's life a little bit easier, um, especially with our Chrome extensions. Most of our kids are using Chromebooks um, and you can add these extensions, obviously, to Google Chrome. So today... Our first tool, which was also brought up a while ago, I'm trying to think, um, one dear old Trisha Lewis brought up (laughs) web paint. And I said Mm -hmm. when we had a episode where we were going to talk about, uh, whiteboard tools that Mm -hmm. web paint would be an extension we talk about. So web paint, if you haven't tried it, it is fantastic. It basically gives you writing tools over any screen that you have. So so if you're sharing your screen with students, if you are like in a Google Meet and you're sharing things, um, I know Google's done a ton of updates and they're all going to upload October 1st. <laughs> so they'll probably be more like Google Chat next week or the week after. But um, but it gives you a full set of writing tools, which is really cool. Um, a lot of our special ed teachers have found it to be great because they can explain to their kiddos that are not in the same room as them. Um, and you just... and you add the extension on just like you would for any other extension mm-hmm. um and then in the upper right hand corner you get this whole toolbox which is awesome you open up web paint and you get a pencil and you can start writing with your pencil and then you have like the little inky thing where you can <laughs> it's like an ink i called it like a, a pen. It's an ink dropper like a dropper oh, okay yeah and then you have a variety of like call outs and lines and you can make cool like little spider web things because you can do a line at a time Mm -hmm. you can do circles you can be like highlighting like sports like you're a cool sports director person you can do painting you can pick your color you can swap out and do all kinds of gradients of colors um and it gives you all these controls you can erase it all and make transparency and size and thickness and all that kind of stuff but it's really kind of cool because you can just make any website you're talking about or working with kind of like a whiteboard space or a space where you can take notes, write, do explanations. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's really great because students can use this extension and show you their thinking, which I think a lot of times it gets a little lost when you're online. Like you want to know what they're thinking and they explain it to you. And it's it's not always the same as when Mm -hmm. you're face to face. So um, having these web paint tools are awesome and they can kind of like write their explanations or draw. Like I don't understand this (laughs) this <laughs> right or if you're grading if you like if you create have a website project or something you can mm-hmm. write right on there yep and then you can screenshot because right from there you can mm-hmm. screenshot what you've 
written with your tools and mm -hmm. then you have it all loaded which is awesome so web paint is an extension that is fantastic um you can see everything you can so you take just pictures click the, of it you click the extension to start it is that how that yeah works? so you just click the extension and click on web paint mm -hmm. and it says it opens right up it's like yay for you you've got web paint and then <laughs> here's this little toolbox and it just gives you your toolbox and then you can um just start writing all over however you want to and explaining things and and doing things and it's just this cool little like written toolbox cool yeah i have to know how many extensions are you currently running on your <laughs> on your google chrome because we talk about a lot of extensions and um i assume that you deactivate some of them if you're not using them but yeah <laughs> um so i run one two three four five five okay on a regular basis i have about five on my business one too and then but. i pull tools as i need them mm -hmm. depending on the lessons that i'm doing or the work that i'm doing my with my students or if i'm teaching other staff mm -hmm. usually then i'm loading up more more tools sure um but usually it's about five five are my go-to's um and we've talked about some of them before, like the Great Suspender, which is an extension that I use that puts your like your screen to sleep yeah. to save power and stuff. So like certain ones like that, mm -hmm. they just yeah. you know make my screens sleep. Yep. <laughs> so there's that. So that is Web Paint. Again, it's a fantastic extension and can be used at any grade level. Um, and teachers and students can both use it alike. And it is fantastic. So try it out. Very good for online learning. Our next Chrome extension, like dramatic pause, <laughs> um, is called Duelists. And Duelists, what it does is it makes your screen a dual monitor. So it splits your browser windows and like you just click on it and it separates your screen, which I have found is great for students to be able to have access to this right away i know there's like different ways to do it if they had two screens at home or you know yeah um like there's ways where they can like make it happen on their chromebook but it's kind of awkward when they're splitting screens mm -hmm. but dualist allows you to just split your screen right away and you can decide if you want it to be like f exactly split in half or if you want different sizing of it if that makes sense mm -hmm. so like I can physically show you this, but you can divide <laughs> your screen where it's like one third is one thing right. and then two thirds is something else, um, which is really nice because you can like students can use this when they're working together on stuff. Um, but what I have found is when I have students that are online and I have students that are in the classroom, I have my students working in Google Meet and I have students that are working physically in class. And when they're in Meet together, they want to be able to see the screen of stuff they're talking about and see their Google meet classmates at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that way they feel like they're a part of class. So dualist has been really helpful because then you're able to have your screens split and you don't have to worry about losing something. Also we do like a Kahoot where students play live Kahoot where I have my kids at home playing Kahoot with my kids in the classroom. Oh, sure. So by having their dual screens, they can, because I go into presenter view in Google Meet, so I'm presenting the Kahoot screen to the kids at home, and then they're playing Kahoot on their computer at the same time, <laughs> versus if you're in the classroom, it's projected on your smart board. Sure. And then the kids are playing on their own Chromebooks. So that way they can see my kahoot questions and play the game yeah and it's all through like google meet and using dual screens so mm -hmm. it's really helpful so if you get a chance and you've got kiddos and i i teach middle school so we're doing you know and trying to interact and learn and be a part of class at the yeah. same time so i'd say middle school high school and staff if you're teachers if you're using this when you're trying to connect with kids it's nice if you don't have two monitors at home and you don't have this big old you know, fancy setup. You can just split your mm -hmm. screens um, and make your life a lot simpler. Maybe you're adding grades to a grade book and yes. looking at uh, another, you know, the work on, mm -hmm. one, on one half. Yep. And there's like little, again, there's little tricks to like do it on a Mac. And there's like different ways to do it, but this is just mm -hmm. a really nice quick extension. Click on it, gives you your screens, you're set up and ready to go. If you are using a Mac, um, 
for it, it's less like the dual screen thing and more for arranging windows there's an app called magnet and i don't know if you have to pay for it or not it might be a dollar or like a dollar 99 or something like that in the app store but mm-hmm. um it you like can take a window or like a a browser or a, uh, any application and drag it to the side of the screen and it will automatically um, make it so it's half the screen on the right or half on the left or up or down or you can actually that's click cool. on it and uh, do it so it's like the right two thirds those kinds of things so that's called magnet um, which is something that I use when I'm doing like data entry into like taking something from a, um, a spreadsheet and put it into a form or something like that um, Gotcha. And, yep. Makes it real easy that way. Nice. Cool. So, for all of our extensions and all of the cool things that are happening in the rooster <laughs> Sorry, causing I, trouble. There was a, <laughs> a sweatshirt that was about to become a victim of, of the, the rooster. Of the rooster. She's, well, very much a puppy. And mm-hmm. I wonder if they have a Chrome extension for like puppy care yeah i don't know but she's <laughs> how to keep your puppy entertained while podcasting she's now fetching the <laughs> like fetching your sweatshirt, sweatshirt that i tried to keep away from her <laughs> all right back to our focus <laughs> the last Chrome extension it's called mercury reader <clears throat> and What's cool about Mercury Reader is if you are distracted. <laughs> like, <laughs> I need Mercury Reader setup. for my life at this moment. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> Actually, Mercury Reader is going to be kind of the opposite of Toolless. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So that that actually is very true. So so Mercury so Duelis is giving you your split screen, and then Mercury Reader clears everything off your screen. So if you are highly distracted (laughs) welcome to our world on a regular basis Mm -hmm. um you click on mercury reader so you just again download the little chrome extension what's cool it's like this little rocket ship i should say dual list is like a little split piece of paper so you can find their little pictures okay um but mercury reader what it does is it you click on an article and Mm -hmm. you click on mercury reader and it clears out everything like all of the extra pictures all of the ads all of the videos that jump up so you literally get the article beautifully organized and for kids that are distracted for teachers that are distracted for people trying to host a podcast with a puppy are distracted (laughs) this extension is highly highly useful for any kid who's trying to read and not be distracted on the, their computers. Yep. Um, it's fantastic. And what's cool, too, is so it clears everything off, gives you, like, your article, which is great. But then also, in the top, if you wiggle your mouse over the top part of the screen, it says click here, and you get a set of tools. And then what it does is you have access to um this cool set of tools and what it lets you do is i'm trying to open up the tools so i can read them to you but i'm also have 700 (laughs) (laughs) i also have um all of my cool extensions open right now and it is of course not doing what i want it to do so what it allows you to do though is you're able to change your font so like not like a bunch of fonts like they give you two choices for fonts to pick from but then you also can zoom in and zoom out for if you need you know if it's smaller text or larger text and i find now that i spend way too much time on my computer my eyes seem to be aging lately and i'm having a harder time reading text (laughs) um and so you're able to choose uh text size so small medium large and then, like typography, it's either serif or sans. So you get those two. Mm-hmm. And then your theme, you can do light or dark. So you can flip them. So really, it just makes it a lot nicer to read an article. All the frills and the distractions are taken away. And for students who are trying to focus and trying to read or like do any sort of annotating. So what you could do is pull your article up on Mercury Reader and then you know, have them using some web paint tools to actually annotate their article if they want to. Um, But it's just a really great way to like slim things down, take away the distractions and really just focus on 
what they need to be reading or what they want to do for their their article. Sure. So that is Mercury Reader. Mercury Reader. So I'm hoping that these three tools kind of make your life a little bit easier. Um, I should highlight, sorry, let me take a step back. The Mercury Reader, you click on, there's like a little cog to get those tools to come up for you. So if you need those text tools, there's a little a little cog in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Um, but these extensions, I've found them helpful with my kind of online blended learning kiddos and they're kind of tools that anybody can use in a lot of different situations. Just kind of make your life a little bit easier because that's kind of what our cool little Chrome extensions are for is making your life easier. Yeah. Make it easier. Yeah. Anything to do that these days is a welcome tool. Free and easy. Yeah. That's the goal in life. Cool. Cool. I'm going to need a new sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> but she's so quiet. <laughs> she's, she's so cute, though, and quiet at this moment. Yes. We want her to talk to you guys sometime on air. We'll get her to talk, but yeah. not right now. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I mean, I could put her in her crate and she can, she'll start <laughs> she, talking. She'll, she'll join us on the podcast. <laughs> Cool. Well, I'm hoping that these help everybody out and they make your life a little easier. That's our goal. Thanks for tuning in. This has been the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. If you ever have any questions, you can find me on Twitter at SmartNWI. And if you want to get more information on the links to the technology, check out the schnazzy new website. Yeah. The cool pot, the cool ed tech directory. Mm-hmm. And it's all there for you. Yes, all the links to the technology discussed in this episode. Visit smartnwi.com. New episodes each week. Thanks for listening. Go educate and innovate. The ideas and opinions expressed on this podcast and the Smart NWI website are those of the author, Shanna Martin, and not of her employer. Prior to using any of the technologies discussed on this podcast, please consult with your employer regulations. This podcast offers no guarantee that these tools will work for you as described, but we sure hope they do. And we'll talk to you next time on the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. Thank you.